Jerome Malone and Master Antonio across the back. Gio or uh, Dos Santos, not Giovanni Dos Santos. The starting 11 for the visitors. Chattanooga Red Wolves tonight. We mentioned Milongo in our open. A start as well up top for Stefan Svetanovic. Chattanooga wearing their alternate white kits tonight, and they'll get us underway as they'll attack from right to left in our first half. Our referee this evening is Igor Bike, and we are in motion in Papillion. Union Omaha hoping to be on top of group three by the end of the night. Chattanooga trying to get back into contention. Tom Casciato said his delivery's been really good from these. Swings this one in on top of the six yard box, and it's the opening goal for Omaha. Just like that, less than four minutes gone. We featured him in the open before a thumping 4-1 win over Spokane in their last one to get them back in contention in this group. Now here's a first time strike with the right foot, but Lucas Coutinho didn't catch it cleanly. Master Antonio was calm. And he's able to release his teammate. Long ball then into the run of Dos Santos. This is number two, and it's touched wide. It was Misael Rodriguez who was released over the top. This first one resulted in Omaha's goal in the fourth minute for Steven Dos Santos. And he clips this back post, and he has a man rising there. It's across the face of goal, and it's in the back of the net again. Two set pieces, two goals for Omaha. Dos Santos claiming it as well. Gallardo ready to take another set piece. They've scored from his first two, and this time he goes for goal, and it's on goal. T.J. Bush is there. Kunga laying it off. Gallardo coming again down the left. And Gallardo tipped over by Bush. What an effort by Joe Gallardo. He's not even waiting till halftime. Ricky Ruiz and Owen Green both coming on in the 36th. Replacing Yahir Paez and Omar Gomez. So you see those glimpses from Milongo of why he's so dangerous and difficult to defend. Chattanooga find a way back into this. You suspect he's going to be involved. Here's Gallardo. Another one on frame from him. That one's simpler for Bush. Good spell in this game. Back and forth. Up and down we go. That's what we expected coming in. Milongo now can rampage through the middle. And he lays it off for Svetanovic. Svetanovic with the step overs. Bracketed by Purple. Lays it back. Right footed strike. It's a sensational goal. And Chattanooga are back in this. And it's Ricky Ruiz, just on three minutes ago. The substitution pays off immediately for Scott McKenzie. Game on in Omaha, 2-1. Ricky Ruiz curling it deliciously into that side netting. That's really good. Svetanovic did putting purple jerseys in his way. Ruiz. Roberts, Svetanovic, Svetanovic ties it. What a goal. It's a banger, and it's 2-2. Given the chance to start today, and boy, has he rewarded Scott McKenzie, and this game has changed completely. From 2-0 down, the Red Wolves are level before halftime. What a hit. Stefan Svetanovic, spectacular. Showing his power. And no chance for Wall. Clipped by Gallardo back post. First header won, but there was a foul in the process. And there's the halftime whistle. What a first half at Werner Park. Union Omaha led 2-0 thanks to two goals from Steven Dos Santos in the fourth and the 20th. Gallardo. Now given away to Rodriguez. Misael Rodriguez, Bush with the save. Second ball cleared away. Foul given against Omaha as Dos Santos came steaming in. In the normal 90 minutes, and you take all three points. That is a terrific switch out to the right. First touch, excellent. Into the box, and again straight at TJ Bush. The Owls have had a few good chances early in this second half. Good triangles from the Owls. And now Gallardo cuts his way inside. Gallardo, Rodriguez. 
Misael Rodriguez around the corner. Misael Rodriguez smothered by Bush, still alive, stabbed in front. Union Omaha back ahead. Lagos Kunga scores. It's 3-2. Like they'd stopped him a couple times. There was one. Here was two. Then TJ Bush stopped his initial shot. Stopped the second one also, I believe. Chattanooga very capable of winning this 5-3, by the way. But here goes Kunga again. Kunga. And now it's Dolabella. And Dolabella off the post. How did he miss? He'd done everything right and couldn't find the finish this time. And the only route available to them might be the total goals category. Here's Dolabella for Omaha. Dolabella scores! He missed one 10 minutes ago. That was a tougher chance, but he did. And that's the kind of sequence, yellow card notwithstanding. And I think will please Dominic Casciato even more than just the goal by itself. Here goes Norti again. Norte, Norti, forcing a save out of Bush. And here's a chance for Mael Malongo, who's hardly had a sniff in the second half. Malongo into the box. Malongo squares. Javon Marsh saved by Lapsley. Second ball wide. So the Owls led 2 0. We're pegged back at 2 2. Now lead 4 2, and they still want a fifth. Into the box. It's back heel. It's Bronick. It's Bush. And there is the final whistle. And it's a second straight Jaegermeister Cup win for the Owls that at least for now takes them above Northern Colorado and into first place in Group 3.